my name is Jamie Plays, this is GameFed, and welcome to this week. Hello? You're up to syntax errors. Hang on. Syntax, it's for you! Give me a sec. Yeah, he said he can't come right now. Yeah, he's uh, off doing his own projects. Yeah, away from Game Fed. Yes, and he's playing Rocket, <laughs> Rocket League with the Pocketies again. Yes, he is. <laughs> yeah. Well, he did, he, did, he did leave me this big box of shoes that just says, uh, fill me. You, you don't care about that. You just want to know what games are coming out this week? Why didn't you just say so? So let's start with today, Monday the 25th of April. Today, Sniper Ghost Warrior 3 is coming to PlayStation 4, Xbox One and PC and claims to give you more than the following three things, being a sniper, a ghost and a warrior. But if the trailer is anything to go by, the more is just sounding a bit like Batman. Clearly, I don't do a good Batman impersonation. I'm more than a sniper. But maybe you'll have better luck, because Batman Arkham VR is no longer a PSVR exclusive. Yes, if you own an Oculus Rift or a HTC Vive, you can get your hands on the game too. And while we're on the Oculus train, if you are interested in a creepy spooky games, possibly set in an asylum, then you might be interested in Wilson's Heart. However, if you feel like me and not one of those lucky buggers that owns a VR device, but you do own a PS4 or a PC and you do like creepy mysteries, then maybe you are worth checking out What Remains of Edith Finch and explore the many rooms of this big mansion, which uh, looks like it uh, violates a few uh, construction regulations. On Tuesday, if you're one of those lucky adults who happens to get the day off, then why not check out the Outlast Trinity Bundle, which includes the new controversial Outlast 2, which almost wasn't released in Australia because it was denied classification. But then it turns out the reason for this was because of an error in submission, so it was then given the big thumbs up and the giant red sticker that says R18+. If you're an Xbox player, you still can get your hands on it, but you will have to wait until May 5th. If you're a kid, you're going to have to wait 6,569 days. Sorry kids. Meanwhile, Wednesday is all about epic quests and battles, starting with Warhammer 40,000, Dawn of War 3, coming to PC. And if you're a Warhammer fan, I'm sure you understand what those numbers are all about. Soon a wandering world will appear and bring with it the Spear of Cain. However, if Vikings are more your style, then you can build up a powerful clan in Expeditions Vikings for PC as well. But if you own a PlayStation 4 and you want your quests a little bit or more on the cute side, then Dragon Quest Heroes 2 is coming out on Thursday the 27th. Also cute, but a little bit more on the dark side, Little Nightmares is coming to PlayStation 4, Xbox One and PC. It's a game that's real so far reminding me a lot of Inside, but instead features a little girl in a yellow raincoat. If it's half as good as Inside, I definitely want to be playing it. But if you can't stand all of this questing and, and just want a game that's where everything falls into place, well, I have good news for you because Pew Pew Tetris is coming to the PlayStation 4 and Switch. And if you want a game on your Switch that's actually going to pull you away from Breath of the Wild for more than five minutes and actually uses those co op features so you can look like there's cool people on the rooftop, well, good news because Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is coming to the Switch. It's, uh, it's got, you know, shinier, it's got new things. It's Yes. Yes, I know you wanted Mario Kart 9. Yes, you're not going to get Mario Kart 9. But rounding off the week, on the 29th, we have the fun platformer Super Red Hot Hero coming to PC. And on the 30th, 
Locke's Quest come into PlayStation 4, Xbox One and PC, which is a remaster of the game of the same name from 2008. And now let's look at the top games from last week. Number one is Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands. Number two is Ukulele. Number three is Horizon Zero Dawn. Number four, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Number five, Lego City Undercover. Number six, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Number seven, Grand Theft Auto V. Number eight, Lego Worlds. Number 9, Mass Effect Andromeda. And coming at number 10, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege. Now that's all we have time for. If you thought I was a disappointing host and that you could do a better job at This Week in Games, or if you have any idea what I'm going to fill all these shoes with, then please send us an email, leave a comment, tweet me at Jamie Plays, or if you're in Sydney this weekend, why not meet me at GX Australia? If you've never seen a YouTube video before and don't know how this works, all the description and business is all there and below me. And there's a subscribe button and a little bell icon. Click those if you want alerts of when we post new videos. And until then, Jamie Plays, out. <laughs>